middle-aged gamers, people who work from home or people who are just looking for new stuff. Today, I'm going to talk about gaming accessories under $30. And again, they could be a lot cheaper. They might just be over $30. It depends on your region. It depends on the time that you're buying these from Amazon. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the universal cell phone clip holder. If I could show you mine, I would show you at the moment, but if I take it out, it's very hard to put on because it is very securely clamped. These things absolutely super useful. If you don't have a cell phone holder right next to you, it is a must have just because there are so many times when I'm working, I might be editing a video or doing something on LinkedIn or X uh, for work. And I might miss a Slack message. I might miss a Slack call because I've muted Slack on my computer and then it'll pop up on my phone. Uh, so very useful there. When I was playing Zenless Zone Zero, right? I didn't want to install it on my PC. So I played it on my cell phone and I played it here and I just turned the screen into landscape mode. And here I was playing with my controller, playing Zenless Zone Zero, uh, which is also good. So if you're into mobile gaming as well, this is another solution. So you don't have to hold your phone and game or it can be like, oh, okay, I'm going to play some games while there's a boring meeting going on. And I could literally doing that while I'm here at work, which is something I've never done. I will say that much, but it's definitely an awesome secure accessory. There's a bunch of different variations. You can decide what goes with your individual setup. You can get that like very bare bones, black sort of metallic form. There's also one that I have, which is just plastic, which is also metal inside, just covered with some plastic sheeting to make it look a little bit nicer. The second thing I want to talk about is a desk pad. And I've talked about these before, but I, I thought all you Rick and Morty fans might like the one that I suggested. Again, I've talked about desk pads before. I never understood them. I had a mouse pad for a very long time and that was it. I'm like, yep, I just need a mouse pad. I had a bare bones wooden desk or metallic desk or something like that. And it was okay, but man, desk pads are awesome. They are perfect. The unfortunate thing is I spend a lot of time eating and working here. So my desk pads last no longer than a year. I might need to get something a bit more premium. Maybe it'll last because they get like super dirty. So I bought something from Ikea for $20 before, and this was wonderful. And it's already dirty, probably like six months later, uh, which kind of sucks. A desk pad just brings the aesthetic of your setup together. It, it, it's also nice because it's, it feels better than putting your arms or your wrists on your wooden desk. You put everything on there. There are ways as well, like I know people will take their desk pack and put it into your laundry machine and then give it a wash and then dry it out. And that could work. I'm just too lazy to do that. Maybe if I get a second desk pad, I'll give it a try. But even this IKEA desk pad is like breaking, but it's definitely something that, that I'd recommend for people just because, especially if you, if you are a bigger person and you like need a bigger mouse area, it just, it's essential. I'll never have another desktop PC set up without a large desk pad before. Like this is at least almost two meters um, and about 60 centimeters wide. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is a good screwdriver set because as much as I dislike building computers these days, I still need to change things now and then, open up my case, put in some new RAM, take out some new RAM, open up and just clean it out because it is super dusty here in Taiwan. And we had a typhoon last week. So that blew in a lot of stuff, dirt and dust and things all over the place. This is, screw set is pretty good. It has the grounding cable that I think most people don't really need a grounding cable anymore. What you do need is a large variety of screws. You do need the small brushes because there are things that compressed air is, is good and fine, but it just, just blows things out of the way. You might want to use like a tiny little brush to brush things off. But yeah, those are the three gadgets. I would highly suggest to get the cell phone holder. Get the Destin, especially if you're an older middle-aged gamer and you don't have dedicated screwdrivers or screwdriver set to deal with your PC. And the desk pad is like the last option that sort of brings your setup together. And you can go with something which is extremely like colorful, like the one on Amazon. You can go with something minimal from Ikea, black. It doesn't have to be from the link, but a desk pad is a must. And if you think of any other accessories that I left out, there's one thing I was looking for that I just, I couldn't find it that I'll probably do on another video like this. But let me know what you guys think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Uh, comment down below.